no idea why I, my first thought was counting them together, especially since this is a three digit uh, thing. No idea. I I think my mind was somewhere totally different in this game. Totally different. <clears throat> so, oh, cutscene. Like I said, there's no point in you having this. I can put it to far better use. I'm taking it with me, okay? That's fine by me then, as you wish. She has a strange voice. Hello! Goodbye! She has a really strange voice. Huh. So there's no way you could have been at the scene of the crime. That's right. I was drinking at the bar with Nick until early morning. I'm sure if you ask him about it, he'll say the same. Okay. He's a bad looking, well. but totally not doing? my type. One other thing. <clears throat> that argument with Carol just now. She's always like that. She thinks of me as an enemy. Say. Is there any reason for that? Perhaps because someone she liked ended up with me in my bed? <laughs> that would explain it, yes. Kinda. If I may be so bold, who was the lucky man? Oh, I sleep with anyone I wish. <laughs> anyone I prefer to sleep with. Okay. I guess she had her eye on one of them, but I don't know who it was exactly. I could sleep with you, if you like. Okay. I'm flattered by your offer. But I don't think that would be appropriate. You're no. exactly the kind of woman a man in my job should never get involved with. Isn't that a shame, darling? Darling. I'll be frank. Right now, you are not a suspect. But both Zach and I are certainly feeling shaky about you. Thank <laughs> you. If you want to remain in the clear, just watch yourself from now on. Oh, you don't know, do you? Artists and art lovers, we love a good thrill. Okay. Thank you for your help. I have nothing further to ask you at the moment. Goodbye. I'm usually not one of these guys who says, oh, uh men are allowed to sleep around and women should be shy at home because the first cannot exist no, if the second is the same and kind of like this but going out oh I sleep with whoever I like and I could sleep with you if you want is kind of slutty uh, I, yes, that's, not, that's not normal most men don't even do this, like, hey, I would sleep with you immediately. They may think it, sure, but, yes, I, I, I will shut up now. <laughs> okay, saving completed. That was kind of faster than the last time, this is the third video. Huh. Okay. Yes. Chapter 9. Choose chapter. Chapter 8. Ah, because. Ah, now I can. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I think we missed a cutscene when we were talking a bit, but. Nothing serious. They were just like, oh, we have to go to the diner. And then everyone was like, to the diner! So we are driving now to the diner. <coughs> Yay. Oh, yes, we are driving alone with Emily. Hello. So, we are going to use this car because this car is fully petrol. Or full was with petrol and stuff and so on. 
Emily, do you know a man named Forrest Kaysen? Kaysen? Yes, I, I know him. The, the sapling salesman, right? He always uses strange comparisons when he talks. I'd like to know more about him. What does he do when he comes to town? He's a salesman, so I guess he sells things. Maybe he comes on vacation. I, we haven't seen many tourists recently, but he comes pretty often. Is that all? Well, now that you mention it, he seems quite friendly with the Ingrams, with Isaac and Isaiah. Maybe you should ask them about Kaysen. Mm-hmm. Okay, I will. Interesting. Why did you start looking at her boobs, obviously? Huh. Oh well, <laughs> can't blame you. Anyways... So, we are now we driving to the diner. I think I will do the diner scene and then call it apart. Then I have a problem because I know what happens next and it will take some time to get there. Emily, don't you find it a hmm. bit suffocating to be around George so much? Well, we are oh. always together. Oh. And anyway, I've gotten used to it. Impressive. Ooh. Women are very adept. No, it's not like that, actually. And George is hard-headed. There's a gap between a teenager and being in your 20s. Everyone's different, that's all. Me and you, too. Zach, I'm not liking the way this conversation is ending. Let's concentrate on driving instead. Where did you want this conversation to head, York? Mm. Of course, it's your different. Everyone's different. Hmm. Well, except the twins, perhaps. They are usually kind of the same. <laughs> I know. Yeah. No stitching. So let's look out. Ooh, nice landscape. Whoa! Let's stop a bit faster. Put the lights on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't do this in real life. <laughs> kind of pisses people off. Be like, Whoa! Light signal, honk, on, whatever you call it. Licht hupe. Hey, careful! <laughs> I kinda have to spice up these driving scenes because they are so freaking boring! Why does it increase my pulse if I drive faster? It's not even driving faster, it's just a little bit faster. Right. <clears throat> Looking at my clutch while driving. Let's just focus on getting to the diner and cut the chit chat. Cut the chit chat. <laughs> if I want to chit chat, I will chit chat. Chit chat. Fine. Wee woo wee woo. Oh no! Careful! Don't get blind. <laughs> I wanted to look up uh, behind her, not back her. Ah, wonderful. Woo! So, we are soon there. Well, then we will do this diner scene, and then I will most likely. Hey! You imbecile! Um, yeah. 
I will most likely guess up all of my cars and prepare them off screen after the dinosaur scene. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And perhaps do some racing stuff, looking around town, getting used to the layout of the town, that's kind of important. So you don't have to check the map all the time. Speed things up a bit during the next play. But I want, I hope I don't do anything story related, so... <clears throat> but then I can't really go into a shop, can I? The A and G Diner. Oh well. wonder what the A and G stand for. Any ideas, Emily? No, nope, I don't know either. Air and gravity, perhaps? <laughs> Access and games? Aliens and Godzilla? Who knows? Is it important to know? I mean, why don't you just ask Nick? <laughs> First, I need to eat. Wonder what's good here. Hey, leave the door open. That's rude. They always hold the door open, no matter what man or woman. Welcome, Mr. Agent. Hi, Olivia. Let me have your special for today. And some fresh coffee. Of course. Fresh Our coffee. special today is turkey. Turkey! A turkey and gravy sandwich. Sound good? I never Perfect. had a turkey and gravy Emily, sandwich. Emily, something too. It'll be on the FBI. Okay. Okay, then. I'll go all out. I'll have the T-bone steak. I usually can't order it because it's a little too expensive. A T-bone steak? I could use a T-bone steak now too. Mm. Mrs. Olivia Cormack, I am here for Mr. Stewart's lunch. If it is ready, I thank you a bunch. Yes, of course. Just a moment. The usual. One turkey, strawberry jam, and cereal sandwich. What? Sounds Small like a sinner's jam? sandwich. Self-inflicted punishment to atone for past sins. He's setting an example. Mr. Francis York Morgan, oh, shut you up. should try this wonderful lunch. It's more than a delicious, tasty crunch. So says Mr. Stewart. No, that's fine. I've just ordered my own lunch. Mr. Francis York Morgan, I, that is, Mr. Stewart's order is delicious, I should mention. And Mr. Nick Cormack is a genius for creating this perfection. So says Mr. Stewart. Still, I have a hunch I might not like it. You sure that sandwich is that good? Mr. Francis York Morgan, making decisions based on intuitions is always a sign of bad FBI agents. So says Mr. Stewart. Harry, you're right. I'll give it a try. Strawberry. Turkey cereal. Can't be good. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, I can't believe it. This is oh, fantastic. Boy. It's really good. Olivia, I'm sorry, but can I change my order? I'll have what Harry is having. <laughs> Look on the face to say I like. Nick and Diane, they hardly make the perfect couple, do they? Is it widely known that they go drinking together, just the two of them? To be honest, I don't pay attention to these things. Not into local gossip? Well, when I moved here, I was still in high school, and I kept wearing the same wild clothes from my school in Seattle. I was young back then. And before I knew it, there were rumors all over the school. She'll screw anyone. That's what they said. Totally unfounded, of course. Anyway, after that, I just sort of...